And then I couldn't leave without asking you this. As far as Pacquiao, Floyd Mayweather, do you think we'll ever see him in the ring? Do you want to see him in the ring? What do you think is really the ultimate holdup in this fight being made? Because at this point, there's so much. It's been years. I know uh, a lot of different people have probably played a part. But from your estimation, what is the biggest holdup? And will we ever see it from your perspective? Well, I mean, I think that, of course, I think that's the biggest holdup. Yeah, I think that everybody knows it. You know, first it was the drug testing. Now you want to know part of it. And then it was, you know, then it was Bob Adam. You know, and it's one of those situations in which, you know, everyone has like, you know, they want to point the finger at Floyd. But off of this guy, $40 million, something he never seen. But he turned down the fight. And like I said, earlier on, he turned down the fight. But yet, no one seems to act like they can remember that part of it. And now that Manny Pacquiao, you know, in the red in taxes, of course, now Manny Pacquiao's talking about, oh, well, he'll, I'll do this, I'll do that. But when is the last time you actually really done something? You know, I mean, and, and, it, and still at the end of the day, it's going to be like this. Even if the fight does happen, it's going to be one of those situations where, oh, well, so he's supposed to beat him anyway. Um, I mean, he should have fought these many years ago. What difference does it make? Because Floyd is older than Manny Pacquiao. So, if you would think that the younger guy would still win. It'll make no difference when they fight. But it's one of those situations in which, I mean, I think it's a little bit of, you know, give and take on both sides. It's not just on, it's not just on Manny's side. It's on Floyd's side as well. But, I mean, I think that the fight can happen. But I think also it's a situation in which if it does happen, it's going to have to happen on 40 terms. Manny Pacquiao has no more power in boxing to be able to say, I want this, I want that. No, if you want the fight, take it. It's offered, take it. I mean, that's, and that, you know, that's the situation. I mean, people's fight is not going to, he's not going to disrespect Manny Pacquiao by like saying, okay, I'm going to give you $10 million. Not gonna do that, you know. But he's not gonna say I'm gonna give you fifty fifty because he don't deserve it. There you have you know, it. I mean, you know, there's a chance the fight still. I mean, there's still a chance the fight can happen. I mean, I mean, I kind of hope it happens for the fact that the critics will be silent. That's the only reason I want the fight to happen, not because of anything else, because I already know what's gonna happen. You know, and I think pretty much even Manny Pacquiao fans pretty much know what's going to happen. But they just want to, you know, because they're his fans, they're still they're still riding with it. All right, and I'm going to put you on the spot. I'm not going to ask you to reveal it, but yes or no, do you know what Floyd's surprise is for May? Um, no, I don't. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, and where can the fans, if they want to stay in touch with Jeff Mayweather, uh, reach out to you, leave you a comment? Where can they do that, and where can they follow uh, follow you? Well, I mean, they can go to my website, which is Pro Boxing Insider. Um, is one. Um, I'm on Twitter, uh, Jeff Mayweather One. I'm on Instagram, Jeff Mayweather One. And um, well, might they might. Might just be Jeff Mayweather. I don't know, but anyway, it also the same on Facebook. Um, you know, Jeff Mayweather on Facebook. So, and I mean, I respond back to anyone that writes me unless they unless they say something too too stupid or too ignorant. You know, I mean, I delete them because I mean I've got so many people that hate my nephew and don't know how to talk to me with respect. So, I show them no respect. All right, that's that's definitely fair and and honest. I want to just overall thank you for your time. I appreciate you giving some time to do this interview for the fans, and we'll definitely be in touch. Um, I look forward to to speak with you in the future. All right, tell me. Thanks for calling this time, man. <laughs> I know uh, last time that was my bad. I I apologize for that, but it won't happen again. No problem. <laughs> good, okay, no problem. Good talking to you, Jeff. All right, likewise. All right, Thanks. take it easy.